All right, let's continue to chapter 12 of the Millionaire of Real Estate Agent book, if you've been following this. So 12, MREA, the lead gen model. The MREA lead gen model is chapter 12, right? So model two, the Millionaire Real Estate Agent lead generation model, right? That's what we're gonna talk about today. MREA lead gen model. So the mega real estate agent lead gen model. My name is Dave. I've been in business for, for going on 11 years now. Our first year we did one deal, then we did four deals, real estate deals total, my brother and I both. Then we did 11 deals, then 18, and then we tried to build a team that didn't work. We tried to do all kinds of stuff, and now last year in 2020, we did 80 deals, right? So we did 80 deals, and here I am growing a millionaire real estate agent team, and if you think about that, it's pretty awesome. Let's get into it. I know there's realtors out there that basically come into the business, they look great, everything works out for them perfectly they're closing a lot of deals they're getting a lot of business they're getting a lot of referrals and you're like whoa what's going on why is the business so easy for them and i just want to say that i'm one, i'm an agent that for me it just wasn't easy it never came easy always had to work for it however last year we did 80 deals and now it's getting to be easier right we're building a team we did a bunch of units things are looking up Let's get into it. The millionaire real estate agent. My goal is to have a million GCI in real estate. Last year we did 750K. Um, my name is Dave, and let me just tell you something. I'm going to be upfront with you about everything regarding my real estate journey. Our business is continuously growing and improving and getting better. However, there's still work to be done, and I started off the business prospecting, which is something that everybody tells you to do. It is not something that everybody does, but it is something that everybody says. Me being naive, I suppose, I did what everybody said, and I ended up building a pretty successful career, much more successful than most agents who are second or third generation, or who had the business handed to them, or who had the business very easily generated some weird way. <clears throat> All right, let's get into it. Let's face facts. To achieve big real estate sales, you will need a lot of leads. To be a millionaire real estate agent, you will need enough leads to drive your millionaire economic model. It's that simple. If you follow the economic model of the millionaire real estate agent, your annual lead generation goals are quite clear. Lead generate in order to net 160 listings. Okay which will in turn lead to 160 buyer sales. It is anticipated that you will have to go on about 308 sell seller listing appointments, 25.7 a month, and about 306 buyer listing appointments, 25.28 every month in order to achieve your 160 seller listing sold and 160 buyers sold. Let me just tell you something, just so we're all clear, right? Just so we start being honest a little bit any real estate agent who does 60 deals or more has people in place even if they're the only licensed person so when you're talking about the millionaire real estate agent right chapter 12 lead generation model this is lead generation on a massive scale right so first you prospect, you build your business, and now you got marketing dollars, and now you have other agents, and you're trying to get those agents productive, and you have systems, and hopefully at this point, long before this point, you have an assistant, right? So marketing based now, and we're prospecting enhanced. This is the big, this is big, right? This is big systems. To generate this level of numbers, you will need to follow a highly leveraged lead generation plan that is marketing based and prospecting enhanced. So your agents have to know how to convert, right? The reason we keep saying marketing based is because marketing is a leveraged activity. To be able to generate the number of leads you will need, prospecting just won't be enough. <clears throat> now, unless you're prospecting on a massive level, at some point, I hope you have been doing what I told you in the previous chapters, and then you put some money away so you can have 
marketing dollars and that's where your business starts to change a little bit okay let's see what this guy that does 135 million says I mail to my database of 7,000 every month and I try to make a hundred past client calls a day I also do my own PR I give the newspaper stories and then they call me that's pretty cool so here's some ratios right so you have here right let me see what you have people you met and people you haven't met people you met you put them on an 8x8 touch the 30 8x8 you send them cards 33 touch and the ratio should be 12 to 2 for each 12 person people marketed to aggressively you should be able to get two deals per se or two opportunities for you to close and to people you haven't met 12 direct these are mailings right 12 direct mailings and the ratio is 50 to 1 I think that's the reason why some top agents don't talk about mailings because it might actually work so I just think that's good something good for us to consider right at those conversion rates the millionaire real estate agent will need either 1920 people in his met database option one or 16,000 in his haven't met database option two or some combination thereof to reach the annual goal of 320 sales so in our marketplace probably in most marketplaces 320 sales may get you a million dollars in GCI net after expenses right however I think that you can also do higher price points you can also do you could do all kinds of different things if you want to go the overkill route which we encourage you could also set out to put 1920 people in your met database and 16,000 people in your haven't met database now that is really aiming high so let's talk about the four laws of lead generation build a database feed it every day communicate with it systematically and service all the leads that come your way right you have to take care of people so big goal 1920 people met and 16,000 people haven't met if you think about DNA Realty Group I know our numbers very well and right now we're probably at about I would say a thousand met and we're probably at about 7,000 haven't met right so I gotta double my numbers easily so if you think about that our business generated 750,000 in commissions and to generate a million in commissions as a business you would technically have to generate 2.4 million which means 700,000 goes towards expenses 700,000 goes towards staff and then you are left with a million net right and that's what the millionaire real estate agent book tries to get you to do which at that point obviously you have a business you have uh, different opportunities and your business is much much bigger now I know there are some people that achieve it but make no mistake about it out of all these um, different markets di different markets and different agents and different teams there's not that many of them that do a million dollar business right so don't feel bad if you haven't achieved it yet just keep working on it focus on listings and you got to make sure here's a recommendation that they suggest we will we will make we will make the recommendation that lead generation cost should be about 10% of your gross income so if you're 396 touches to a database of 1920 costs you six only 63,000 that will add up to only 2.6% right so these are a part of your expenses the 12 direct program to 16,000 people will cost approximately 192,000 which is the other 8%. The hardest thing for me has been in my personal growth process, you know, as a single parent and as like not having anybody else to rely on while building the business, right? Has been the fact that you have to if in order if you think about big business, they have expenses and as a real estate agent starting out new you really don't have a lot of expenses and as your business grows your expenses start to accumulate right however if you don't treat it right you may over expense right and spend all your money and just end up broke I've seen that happens to, to agents also and it makes me feel like very uneasy you know because that's that's the thing about real estate you could win big 
but you can also lose big, right? It's, it's not just a regular job, right? There's a lot riding on the line here. However, if you, can, if you can do it and you have the desire, then let's keep going, right? Three things, the millionaire, you, you should really focus also on converting seller leads into appointments, right? So what I want you to focus on, on chapter 12, the MREA lead generation model, is 16,000 non-METs, name, email, phone number, right? And 2,000 METs. These numbers are based on statistics, and I think that you could probably do it. It'll take some time, but if done right and done aggressive, Hopefully you can figure this out in about three to seven years and best of luck. That's MREA, Millionaire Real Estate Agent, Chapter 12. The MREA Lead Gen Model. My name is Dave. If you wanna help us achieve our goals, I'm teaching these classes for free on, on YouTube. However, my time now, happily, is 307 bucks an hour and it's only going up so things are looking good if you want to book me to come out and train in your market center or in your office just accommodate my time stay and lunch my name's dave you gotta basically continue and depends on where you are get the book get the one with the tabs i'll talk to you soon